Okay, hi, I'm Rob. This is how to make your wood burner about three times more efficient for under $20. Now, my setup doesn't look all that great because it's in the basement and it doesn't really matter to me. But my original idea was your wood burner only gives off as much heat as it has surface area. So increase the surface area in which to give off heat, you will increase your BTU output. So what I've done is I've added a 55 gallon drum right off the chimney, right into the chimney. This is just a short connector piece and you can see here we have about 480 degrees. Now in our drum, give or take about 385 on the front of it, the top of our drum is running 405. Now the bottom of our drum runs much cooler, so we're at 145, but all I did was add this into the chimney, and you can see that we're running 290, give or take, and almost 500, so 490, but we have roughly a 200 degree temperature drop in the length of a 55 gallon drum. So by increasing the surface area we have significantly taken more BTUs from our wood which originally was just going out of the chimney and to waste. So my original idea was that I was going to add a small 30 gallon drum right on top, piggyback right on top of the wood burner that I wouldn't take up any more room and it was small but I ended up going with my sister brought me home a larger drum a 55 gallon that's a little bit heavier than factory drums because it was a uh, chemical drum and this is an oddball that actually has a clamp on top so I can remove that clamp pop the top clean anything out if need be and not that it really matters but it also has a two inch bung down on the side. Now a lot of people said you need something heavier than a 55 gallon drum which is not true even a light 55 gallon drum will do because if you look at your chimney pipe it's actually very thin it's less than an eighth wall thickness. Uh, you don't need heavy steel where you don't have fire. In the drum itself you only have heat and hot air in the firebox is where you have your heat. That is where, you know, not even just your steel is required. That's why you have fire brick on the side because if you had your actual fire against the steel, it would warp or actually melt the steel. So that's why you have your ceramic fire brick to actually take the brunt of the fire. So, in doing so, goes right out the chimney into the 55 gallon drum which is vastly increasing your surface area. I have a decent sized wood burner that you can shove over a two foot log in but the surface area of the drum is almost three times that of the wood burner making it thus three times more efficient. Like I said, I mean here's proof positive 540 degrees, 450 right on top of the drum, and 320 on the exit of the chimney pipe. So you have a 200 degree temperature drop. In doing that, look at the heat difference on the floor. That is 115 degrees on the floor temperature above the drum. Now we go above the wood burner and we're only looking at 110. That right there shows you how much heat that, that thing throws off. So for the cost of a drum which most people can find laying around a stab fitting that I just cut a hole in the drum itself and added that fitting and I had to reroute my chimney work a little bit but chimney pipes pretty cheap 
but even on your burn indicators you know we're showing 450 degrees there and 200 upon exit so like I said there's a massive heat exchange right there and if you wanted to do this which would be a cleaner appearance and you know fit nice all you'd have to do is come up off your chimney into the side of this and then out the top but that's all it was was cutting two holes you have to make sure these are nice and tight but cut two holes in a drum a couple new fittings and increase the heat output I'm actually sweating standing here and I have the door open it's December 1st but thank you like my videos if you like this